Right, it's a beauty, sunny, warm morning, and I'm standing in Corsley Road, and I'm just going to look out for possible places where runners could go, of course, and also look for places where I need to get some extra footpath discs um, from hopefully from Wildon District Council to improve the marking of the course. So um, I may put this on the on uh, the website. I may not, but it's mainly a notes for me so I can make a a good quality road book. The start is in Corsley Road and it starts next to a huge tree. Yes, this audio recording will um, consist of, I'll say, the distance from the start of the leg. So, uh, there's five checkpoints, four checkpoints, five checkpoints, uh, one, two, three, yeah, five checkpoints. That means we've got six legs for the race, and um, I'll say the distance from the start of each leg. So, I'm now from the start of the race, this is leg one, 0 0.63 miles. I've, the course has been running on Corsley Road for the first 0 0.63 miles and then you need to turn right and go over a stile. Yeah, so on the right hand side of the road there's a stile, climb over the stile and cross the field heading towards the railway line. For the first five miles on leg one, the long distance path which the route follows is the High World Landscape Trail and um, there's little, the logo there's a church and a tree and there's little metal discs footway, footpathway marker discs on the finger posts and on various um, fence posts to guide you along the way. Immediately after passing underneath the railway line you get to a finger post and you need to turn there gently left there's a disc saying Sussex Border Pass path, but there isn't the High World Landscape Trail disc, so I need to get that from the council. And that's 0 0.74 miles there left, slight left, to go up a hill, gentle hill, well, a, a small rise. 1.47 miles, exit out of some woods and join onto a country lane, just continue up the country lane in the same direction you're going. 1.72 miles, so if my memory's correct that's 0 0.25 of a mile along the country lane. Look out on your left you'll see a stile on the left um, the high wheeled landscape trail disc is missing so I need that replaced so you need to go over the stile it has got the Sussex border path the high wheeled landscape trail and the Sussex border path share the same route up to this point uh, and it shortly they will veer off in different directions but high world landscape trail disc required so cross on the left hand side of the road go over the stile and continue along the path 1.80 miles after crossing a footbridge and passing through a gate the Sussex border path veers off to the left the High World Landscape Trail, which is what the race route follows, veers off to the right.
uh, there's no markings indicating this, so a finger post indicating that the two paths split here would be very useful. So you veer off to the right, uh, and if you just look about 80 metres ahead, you will see a wooden gate. So you want to just curve around next to the stream towards the wooden gate. 2.05 miles shortly 20 meters after crossing a sealed driveway you'll see a finger post with the high wood landscape trail indicating turn left so if you want to turn left down a gentle downhill to cross the wooden footbridge do not go straight ahead there is a a post with the disc marker indicating to turn left 2.68 miles the route's been following the right hand side of a field for a wee while probably 400 metres you've just entered the next field just passing through um, a gap in oh, the hedge ending so there's um, just keep on running so 15 metres after entering this next field you need to look out to your right and you'll see a metal kissing gate it's pretty well hidden so you want to look out for this um, a finger post here indicating to turn right to go through the small tiny gap in the edge through a kissing gate is definitely needed but important you see this uh, small gap in the edge as you pass through the kissing gate you will see the old post of the disc on the high world landscape trail disc resting against the metal gate so it's obviously fallen down so it needs replacing 2.75 miles oops got attacked by a dog you need to pass through the gap in the brick fence so there's a gate no gate there but the gate entrance way through the courtyard of some private residences 2.98 miles you exit out of the driveway to a B road you'll see a finger post directly in front of you but unfortunately the um, fingers the arrows pointing the way to go is missing you need to turn left along the B road so take care as you turn left along the B road 3.04 miles after traveling not long along the B road you're on your right hand side of the road you'll see a finger post again the arrow is broken off but there is the high world landscape trail disc on the upright of the post there's a small gap in the hedge where there's a stile uh, one of these narrow stiles so pass through there and continue along the path but just look out for the finger post with one of the fingers missing on the right hand side of the road 3.21 miles you are running along a farm track you face two gates you'll see the worldscape trail disc there in the middle post but you want to pass through the skinny style on the left hand side of the left hand gate do not pass through the open gate on the right so go through the style at the left of the left hand gate 3.61 miles after climbing over a stile you reach a nicely newly sealed portion of road it's a tiny narrow lane you need to turn right and continue along the road if you look to your right above your right hand shoulder you will see the finger post indicating the high world landscape trail so turn right along the skinny narrow lane 
3.79 miles um, reaching the end of White House Lane cross the B Road be careful and continue straight ahead along the trail which has a finger post indicating the way to go 3.89 miles cross the stile go over the stile and as you note you'll see the on the stile the high world landscape trail disc indicating for you to turn a sharp right and head up continue heading up the hill 4.16 miles as you've just crest, uh, crested the top of the hill you'll get to the edge of some woods you'll see a stile do not do not cross that stile there is a landscape trail disc indicating for you to continue going straight ahead on the edge of the field down the gentle hill along the edge of the field and if you look ahead you will then see a gate which is where you're heading to or a stile what you're heading to down the field down the hill 4.56 miles as you um, reach the end of the farm track and reach the a sealed driveway you'll see the marker post with the landscape trail disc you need to turn sharp right down along the down the gentle hill along the sealed driveway ideally do not cut this small corner and go across the grass bank please stick to the farm track the farm trail and turn right when you get to the sealed driveway great 5.22 miles as you exit the sealed driveway you reach a B road you want to turn left along the B road uh, you're going to be travelling along the B road for about 100 metres probably best to stay on the left of the road but be very careful okay um, left along the B road not long less than 100 metres probably 60 metres but be extra careful this is a reasonably busy B road 5.29 miles so not long since you left the sealed driveway um, you need to look on your left and you'll see a finger post and a metal gate a metal kissing gate this is directly opposite the gentle curve to the left side the road marking curve to the left side this will be marked because this is a slight detour of the high world landscape trail path to take you to checkpoint one and it's a scenic enjoyable climb up to the church so look for this left finger post which is sort of hidden but look for the left directly opposite the bend in the road 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 marker 5.38 miles you're at the corner of the church turn right to go round the side of the church and follow the path round the church down to join on to the um, seal oh, you'll see to reach checkpoint one 5.46 miles you've reached checkpoint one you can get yourself a drink and some food that is the end of leg one so 5.46 5.47 miles is leg one complete